you know, you mentioned how uh, our language is so banal and and prosaic and all that, and and it's I've always a lot of people feel that the the English mass the the Novus Ordo is is also impoverished, and um, somebody said, why can't we have an English translation of the Tridentine Mass, which has so much more beauty? Uh, and richness to it. And um, I'm wondering what you think of that suggestion or if that's something realistic that we could even think about and work toward or any other comments you have about the, the current translation of the mass. I know it was, it was improved yeah. a little bit, but It was improved a lot. Um, it, it was improved a lot and brought more in line with what other languages had, right? Um, I, I would notice this all the time when I go and hear a mass in another language. Uh, we live in Canada in the summer and uh, the people where we go, um, many of them are French speakers, so they're French masses and we would hear mass in French. And what they were saying in French didn't match what we were saying in English because it was closer to what the mass really said. Um, for, for example, we had been uh, suffering in the United States of America with the translation, Lord, I am not worthy to deceive you. Um, and that, uh, that made abstract and puffy and vague what in the Latin is sharp and specific. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Um, that's what the centurion says to Jesus. When Jesus offers to come to his house, to heal his servant. And that it's wonderful to say that prayer or say, say those words of the centurion right then, right there. Um, they are changed only in one little word and only say the word and my servant shall be healed becomes only say the word and my soul shall be healed, right? There is no excuse um, for muffling those words, no excuse at all, um, but, most of the translations that we have to put up with in the lectionary and uh, in the, well, the, things are better now in, in the mass and daily office, but most of the uh, translations for the lectionary are terrible um, because they avoid what is sharp and specific. Uh, it's, it's, they have a utilitarian and functional view of what language is. It's as if they never met a poet their entire lives. Um, it, uh, it's, it's deadening try to even remember uh, a, a line from St. Paul from the lectionary that we've had, had to put up with. It's, 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 it seems to be just all, all theological word salad. And um, sorry about that, nobody, nobody can remember it.